In this video, Josh helps one of our camp guests to stop skidding out during his carve turns and start carving cleanly. He dig into two common mistakes, such as an inconsistent stance width and having low edge angle. Let's get started. Good day, fellow skiers. In this exciting video, we're going to do some live coaching. Or not we, actually. Josh is going to live coach William on your carving technique. How good of a skier are you? Uh, better now. Than when? The two days ago when we started. That is some good news. How did you start off the camp with William here? Yeah. Alright, so we do on the camp, we put those carb soles in. Yeah. And then I obviously have a good look on how they ski as well. And I usually got that way that I analyze it first from what I, what I see. So, and I saw that the stance of William was varying a lot. Mm -hmm. And now we put him in a wide stance during the whole turn. Yeah. And the carb had agreed with me on that as well. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been working on that main issue. Yeah. So that's how it started, but I'm not going to disturb you guys too much. You go off and keep coaching William, and uh, we'll see how good you get. Good luck. Welcome guys to day number three of our technique camp here. Uh, we've been working together on some issues you had on the first day. And the main uh, uh, problem we had is that your stance was varying quite a bit. So it went from narrow to wide and back to narrow. Yeah. Yeah. So we did some drills to get you consistent with throughout the whole turn. Let's go down here and really exaggerate it. You have like an overly wide stance like this. Try to hold it to get you on the up opposite side of the scale and get you a feeling for it. Okay. Let's do it. Go. Uh, yeah, I find uh, when I'm doing this wider stance, I end up, sometimes I end up getting back seated. I just get thrown onto the back. Okay, yeah. Which happens yeah. more than yeah. more than skiing. More than on your usual ski. Yeah. And I want to keep going with that here with one more drill. The railroad drill, we're carving, we're not rotating the legs anymore. Okay. Uh, so if, the, if we do that properly here, we're not going to see any rotary score on this app anymore. Rotating means you're actually rotating your leg, so it becomes a drifting motion and it's not an edging motion anymore. So we want to get rid of that rotary score in our carving and only do edging. All right, Will, let's do this ra railroad drill. Uh, railroad, the tracks are always the same width, right? Yeah. They never go any closer together. And the key to do that is doing really synchronized movements from your knees. So your knees are also going to have this exact same width that is in between your skis. Yeah. And you really want to move them synchronized from the left side to the right side. Should we try it? Let's do it. I felt pretty good actually. Yeah, yeah I, I liked it. I think you got it fully on the edge and it showed in it should show in here as well. I don't think you got a rotary score in there at all. Yeah, there's yeah. no rotary score. It's also my best uh, ski IQ ever of 146. 146. Which is only uh, two less than yen, so Yeah, that is outrageous. Yen should watch out, I yeah. think. I don't need to watch out. It's not two points, it's four ski IQ points. <laughs> that is actually really nice. Yeah, well done. Yeah, right, well, let's get one last indicator that you really completely stopped rotating uh, during your carving turns. Yeah. Yeah, and that you have your skis parallel the whole time. We will put you on a parallel index monitor now on our carve app. During this drill, William will hear a number called out at every turn where zero means snowplow and 100 means perfectly parallel. Go get him, Tiger. 48, 57, 67, 43, 70, 49. Parallel index means the following. The skis are following in perfect unison, kind of like a snowboard or a mono ski, if you will. <laughs> I'm 
pretty happy with your stance now and we've been working on, on it quite a bit. Uh, I want to uh, tackle on the next issue that we are having. Um, I want to get you to increase your edge angle because we reached pretty low scores there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I want to increase your edge angle to so tipping your ski more over in the turn that will result in it bending more. So you're going to shorten up your radius in your carving turn. Okay. We're going to drag our pole on the outside of the turn. Mm -hmm. This was this will result in your upper body tipping over towards the outside ski, uh -huh. that, that way you will get more outside ski pressure and also more edge angle. Yeah. To get a critically high edge angle can help you to turn with the skis perfectly parallel because they will just carve through the snow. Bit harder, yeah. you're gonna take my poles because they're way shorter, so you gotta lean over a bit more. Right. Is it any trickier with those poles? Uh, probably that more of a band with them. Yeah, did they make you bend more down? Good. Probably, yeah. yeah. I thought so. Yeah. Nice. I think that worked super well. You definitely got to bend over here. Yeah. Um, I want to try a different row of you, which kind of does the same thing. Yeah. But maybe it makes you kind of tip in with your hip even a bit more yeah. towards the inside of your turn. Yeah. Um, so I want you to actually uh, take your hand onto your hip, your outside ski hand. So it tips over this way and kind of put this one a bit across. Okay. So you get a little bit of a downhill orientation but you, at the same time you get that tipping in of your hip, right there. Yeah. Was that? Yeah, pretty cool. I, like I think it. I think that put you uh, put your hip down even more than nice. the draw we did before. Okay. I think that looked really good. Cool. So let's put you on edge angle one here. Yeah. And you're gonna try to go down here with a similar feeling and reach those high edge, edge angles. Okay. Let's see if it did something. 56, 45, 51, 56, 41. 49, 69, 62, 56, 51, 62. We're on the end of our day here and um, I think you made huge progress today. Thank you. So I kind of want to compare it with the data that we got on our phones now. Let's look at the first day. Um, we've been working on, you got picked up a rotary score there in the carving and it showed a parallel index that was quite low. Um, if you're solidly carving, it shouldn't pick up a rotary score at all. Yeah, so what does it say on your phone here? Uh, so we've got an um, NA, not yeah. applicable, advanced carving detective. So yeah. I'm actually carving now. Yeah, it says advanced carving detective. Advanced carving nice. detective. Nice, all right. Yeah, so it's all achieved. You're fully on your edges now and you're not getting into your thing cool. anymore. Well done. Cheers. Yeah. And then the big thing, the second thing we worked on today was edge angle. Yeah. So I have data on here from your first day, edge angle 37 degrees. Yeah. What did you get today? Uh, so on my best run, I had an average uh, edge angle of 47 degrees. And yeah. in that run, I peaked at 69 degrees. 69, that's so pretty yeah, decent. Pretty well done. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, that last score, dude. We have the Ski IQ score, which is the most important one, in my opinion, because it shows a bit of everything. Um, on Monday, you got a 117. What did you get today? Uh, so apparently I've got a ski IQ today of 146. 146, that's actually huge. Oh, hold yeah. on, I'm in, I'm in the wrong app. This is actually my uh, brain training app. That's actually my actual <laughs> IQ. Sorry. Uh, I wish. <laughs> it, says, um, it says in the little summary, outstanding William. 
Or should I call you the Stephen Hawking of skiing? Which is <laughs> quite nice. Please <laughs> with that. Well done, man. That was great fun with you the last few days. Uh, how did you like it? Yeah, it was good for me too. Um, yeah, I really like the way you know you get feedback from the app. I think I'll be able to use that on my own to do stuff. I'll probably buy one of these carved things and uh, you know because it'll help in my own skiing. But it was also cool having it there with you as well. You could sort of explain some of the metrics a bit more and make sure, like, because uh, it can be hard to trust just like electronic yeah. sort of yeah. data if, if yeah. no one's looking yeah, at it's it. Yeah, it's always it. nice to get like a feedback. Yeah, <laughs> it is consistent. Like uh, when you say that was a really good run, often yeah. the app says, wow, yeah, that was good too. Yeah. And yeah. uh, when you say I'm doing something wrong, often the app agrees with it. You can this can it. help you out, eh? Yeah. 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 Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something from my struggles. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Well done, guys. <laughs>